Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1775, Jews are expelled from the outskirts of Warsaw, Poland. No, I didn't say World War II. I said 1775. In 1784, the first U.S. ship to trade with China, the Empress of China, sails from New York. In 1819, Spain sells Florida to the United States for 5 million U.S. dollars. In 1825, Russia and Britain established the Alaska-Canada boundary. In 1847, the Mexican-American War's Battle of Buena Vista occurs today. 5,000 American troops defeat 15,000 Mexican troops. In 1853, Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri is founded as Elliott Seminary. In 1855, the Pennsylvania State University is founded as the Farmers High School of Pennsylvania. In 1856, the Republican Party opens its first national meeting in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1860, organized baseball is played in San Francisco for the first time between the Eagles and the Red Rovers. In 1862, Jefferson Davis is officially inaugurated for a six-year term as the President of the Confederate States of America in Richmond, Virginia. In 1863, the January Uprising breaks out in Poland, Lithuania, and Belarus in an effort to regain independence from Russia. In 1865, Tennessee adopts a new constitution abolishing slavery. In 1876, John Hopkins University opens. In 1879, in Utica, New York, Frank Woolworth opens the first of many Woolworth stores. In 1880, Columbia Phonograph is formed in Washington, D.C. In 1888, John Reed, the father of American golf, first demonstrates golf on a Yonkers cow pasture to friends. In 1889, U.S. President Grover Cleveland signs a bill admitting North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and Washington as U.S. states. In 1890, the United Mine Workers of America is founded in Columbus, Ohio. In 1899, the leaders of six Australian colonies meet in Melbourne to discuss Confederation. In 1901, Edward VII is proclaimed king after the death of his mother, Queen Victoria. In 1905, Bloody Sunday in St. Petersburg, Russia is the beginning of the 1905 Revolution. In 1906, the SS Valencia runs aground on Vancouver Island British Columbia, killing more than 130 people. In 1907, the first cabs with taxi meters began operating in London. In 1909, the 16 battleships of the Great White Fleet returned to the United States after a voyage around the world. In 1915, over 600 people are killed in Guadalajara, Mexico, when a train plunges off the tracks into a deep canyon. Also in 1915, Germany institutes unrestricted submarine warfare. In 1917, President Woodrow Wilson of the still neutral United States calls for peace without victory in Europe. In 1920, in Emeryville, California, the first artificial rabbit is used at a dog race track. In 1923, the first successful chinchilla farm in the United States opens in Los Angeles, California. Well, there you go. In 1924, U.S. President Calvin Coolidge becomes the first president to deliver a radio broadcast from the White House. In 1927, Teddy Whiteclam gives the world's first live radio commentary of a soccer match. In 1928, the first solo flight from England to Australia lands in Darwin, 15 and a half days after taking off. In 1933, Malcolm Campbell sets a world land speed record of 272.46 miles per hour with his famous Bluebird car in Daytona Beach, Florida. In 1935, airplanes are no longer permitted to fly over the White House. Also in 1935, The Little Colonel premieres, starring Shirley Temple, featuring the famous stair dance with the first interracial dance couple. In 1936, Sonia Henney of Norway follows up her Winter Olympics victory with an incredible 10th consecutive Women's World Championship figure skating gold medal in Paris, France. In 1941, Nazi police raid Amsterdam and round up 429 young Jews for deportation to Buchenwald and Mauthausen concentration camps. 
1942, three members of an anti-Nazi group that advocated nonviolent resistance called the White Rose were beheaded in Munich. Also in 1942, President Franklin Roosevelt orders General Douglas MacArthur out of the Philippines as American defenses collapse. In 1944, American aircraft mistakenly bomb four Dutch towns, resulting in more than 800 deaths. In 1946, the creation of the Central Intelligence Group occurs today. It is the forerunner of the Central Intelligence Agency. In 1947, KTLA, the first commercial television station west of the Mississippi River, begins operating in Hollywood, California. In 1950, American basketball player Julius Irving was born today. In 1957, Israel withdraws from the Sinai Peninsula. Also in 1937, George Metesky, the New York City Mad Bomber, is arrested in Waterbury, Connecticut and is charged with planting more than 30 bombs. In 1958, Egypt and Syria join to form the United Arab Republic. Also in 1958, at the 15th Golden Globes, The Bridge on the River Kwai, starring Alec Guinness and Joanne Woodward, wins Best Movie. In 1959, NASCAR held the first Daytona 500, which was won by Lee Petty. In 1963, the Beatles begin their own music publishing company, which they call Northern Songs. In 1954, the Beatles arrive back in England after their first U.S. visit. In 1968, Apollo 5 lifts off carrying the first lunar module into space. Also in 1968, rock group Genesis released their first record, Silent Sun. In 1969, a gunman attempts to assassinate Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev. In 1973, a chartered Boeing 707 explodes into flames upon landing in Nigeria, killing 176 people. Also in 1973, the U.S. Supreme Court delivers its decisions in Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Bolton, legalizing elective abortion in all 50 states. In 1974, Samuel Bick tries and fails to assassinate U.S. President Richard Nixon. In 1979, Billy Martin is named manager of the Oakland A's. During the 1980 Winter Olympics, the U.S. ice hockey team defeats the Soviet team in one of the greatest upsets in the history of the Olympic Games, which is referred to as the Miracle on Ice. In 1983, the notorious Broadway flop Moose Murders opens and closes on the same night in New York. Also in 1983, Hindus kill 3,000 Muslims in Assam, India. In 1984, the Apple Macintosh is introduced during Super Bowl 18. In 1987, Pennsylvania politician R. Bud Dwyer shoots and kills himself during a televised press conference. Also in 1987, Philippine security forces open fire on a crowd of 10,000 to 15,000 demonstrators in what is now known as the Mendiola Massacre. In 1989, at the 31st Grammy Awards, Bobby McFerrin's Don't Worry Be Happy is a big winner. Also in 1989, CBS TV runs the first Spanish commercial on network TV in the U.S. It is a Pepsi commercial played during the Grammy Awards. In 1990, Robert Tappan Morris is convicted of releasing the Morris Internet Computer Worm. In 1991, 21-year-old Kelly McCarty of Kansas is crowned the 40th Miss USA. In 1992, Dr. Roberta Bondar joins NASA's space shuttle program, becoming the first Canadian woman and the first neurologist in space. In 1994, Aldrich Ames and his wife are charged by the United States Department of Justice was spying for the Soviet Union. In 1997, the Roseland Institute near Edinburgh announced the birth of Dolly the Sheep, the first clone of an adult mammal. In 1999, Australian missionary Graham Staines and his two sons are burned alive by radical Hindus while sleeping in their car in India. In 2002, Kmart becomes the largest retailer in United States history to file for bankruptcy protection. In 2006, at least six men staged Britain's biggest robbery, stealing $92.5 million from a Securitas depot. In 2009, at the 81st Academy Awards, Slumdog Millionaire Sean Penn and Kate Winslet are the winners, and Heath Ledger posthumously wins for Best Supporting Actor. In 2011, an earthquake measuring 6.3 in magnitude 
strikes Christchurch, New Zealand, killing 181 people. In 2014, the Snowboard Parallel Special Slalom event debuts and is run for the only time at the Sochi Olympic Winter Games. In 2017, the discovery of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting star TRAPPIST-1 is announced in the journal Nature, further raising the possibility of alien life. Also in 2017, Jay-Z becomes the first rapper to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. And in 2017 as well, U.S. President Donald Trump overturns former President Obama's directive on transgender rights to use toilets. In 2018, the U.S. wins the Olympic Women's Ice Hockey Gold Medal for the first time in 20 years with a 4-3 shootout victory over Canada. Also in 2018, the Women's Big Air Snowboarding event makes its Olympic debut at Pyeongchang. Austria's Anna Gasser is the inaugural gold medalist. In 2019, actor Jussie Smollett is suspended from the US TV show Empire after it's revealed that the actor made false claims about a racist and homophobic attack. Also in 2019, musician Peter Frampton announces he has a degenerative muscular disease and his next tour will be his last. In 2021, the U.S. death toll from COVID-19 passes 500,000, which is higher than U.S. deaths in World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War combined. Also in 2021, influential French dance duo Daft Punk announced their split after 21 years. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Watch more videos. I put some more right in front of you.